our plan is to build <laughs> is to build cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Till next time. Hi everyone. Uh, we are the team behind TypeGPU, a TypeScript library providing a TypeSafe API for WebGPU. We just released version 0.1 and are excited to show what it includes and also what's to come. WebGPU is a fairly new web standard. It gives access to GPU resources for computing and rendering tasks right from within your browser. FreeJS and other rendering frameworks are already using it for increasing efficiency of their 3D rendering. And uh, for example, Transformers.js uses it to run LLMs locally in your browser without an expensive API call. We are betting on it becoming the standard, and to help existing projects take advantage of WebGPU, we want to provide type-safe tools around it. Forgetting to put data when constructing buffers is an easy mistake to make. It is hard to debug or even notice. Our very first release includes typed buffers and utilities for dealing with GPU data as if it were just regular JavaScript values. Usually you have to convert to binary yourself and remember about all the padding and alignment but this is no longer necessary because the library is doing it all for you. We allow developers to write Zodlex schemas that define the shape of the data and then allow you to interact with the GPU buffer through a typed utility. This also eliminates a lot of boilerplate and allows for faster iteration. While our library is a great wrapper around existing buffers, you can also create them from scratch using our new utilities. The schemas can actually calculate the minimum required size just based on the schema alone. So. If you let TypeGPU create the buffers for you, it will be a perfectly sized buffer, and it will also automatically adhere to the alignment rules, which is hard to do manually. You can even pass an initial value, and TypeScript will let you know if you make any mistake. We use TypeScript magic to inverse the size of the schemas, even when they describe complex types like arrays or structures. So, now that we have typed buffers, what's next? We are currently developing and researching a new way of writing shaders, one that takes full advantage of TypeScript safety and composability, yet is still familiar to JavaScript developers. Most of this functionality is still being defined, so feel free to join the discussions on our GitHub and Discord server. This uh, new approach lets you write imperative JavaScript code that runs on the GPU. This is possible by transpiling a subset of JavaScript into equivalent WJSL, and this gives you the DX of TypeScript in JavaScript and the speed of parallel computing on the GPU. We're calling this new approach TGSL, Type GPU Shading Language, but underneath it's still just JavaScript. We want to ensure that this new approach integrates well into existing WebGPU code bases, so you can mix and match WJSL and TGSL. New projects can fully adopt a new approach to start with, taking full advantage of TypeScript type safety on the GPU. Our plan is to build reusable modules for common use cases like neural network inference, graphics programming, and general computing. This new approach lets us do more than is possible with regular WGSL, like higher order functions. We can also use the type of buffers we introduced in version 0.1 directly in code, and we will create the bindings for you. Hope you're as excited as we are for what's coming in the pipeline. Thank you for listening, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Ja mam tutaj te dwa takie krótkie, to one są spoko, mogę je przeczytać. No bo i tutaj też bardzo łatwo coś wrzucić, nie? You can pass initial value, no to co pokażemy initial value. Aha, no tak. Za dużo excited. We're excited. Ostatni raz. Dobra, teraz będzie ostatni. The future. The future. No, w sumie tak.